This woman has done it all for our sport in Canada. Not only was she the first Canadian ever to win an Olympic medal in skeleton, she's a two-time World Cup champion, multiple World Championship medalist, and the winningest female athlete in the history of the World Cup with 34 medals. When Duff told me on Sunday that I'd be representing Canada for the third time at Olympic Games, um, yeah, I felt that, that same feeling I did the very first time when I went to 2006. The, the honour and the pride to wear the maple leaf. And it's, like Katrina said, it's a huge responsibility and I'm definitely very, very ready to step up to the plate. <laughs> now a three-time Olympian, please welcome this true Alberta rodeo girl from Eckville, Melissa Hollingsworth. What was really exciting is when I came down that stairwell the kids were were so excited when they heard that I you know I'm a speed queen they're like that's your name you're a speed queen <laughs> and I think it's funny because that's the simplicity and I think when we all reflect back on our childhoods of, of everything that that inspired us and motivated us and um, that's that's just it I, I loved grabbing my crazy carpet when I was young to slide head first on my stomach down the hills at, on our ranch and and that's the stuff that we have to carry forward to this big responsibility of, of representing this country and, and a sport like skeleton where it comes down to just hundreds of a second of whether you're on that podium or not. There's a lot different in these last four years and especially this fall and winter. Um, I, was, I was doing everything possible to get on some new equipment and, and to get into that state of flow on a new sled and it just did not work for me. Um, you know, the first the first thing happened when I didn't make the World Cup team initially because of a mistake that I made in the selection races, and then um, the the races on the IC didn't go as well. And I immediately called my sports psych, Matt Brown, who was making his way to Lake Placid to those two World Cups, and I'm like, we need to get my old sled here. I don't think I'm capable of learning how to drive differently. And, and he said it best, I spent 15 years of my life uh, learning the ins and outs of that sled it's become an appendage another part of my body and went to Lake Placid and I felt like me again and this is the first time since World Championships in 2012 I've been this confident and this comfortable on my sled and I only just had a few runs in Lake Placid so I'm really excited to get the second half underway. So I look at Katrina and yes I look at her as a legend and everybody who I looked up to as legends and it's, it's odd to think that someone might look at me in, in that sort of Case, but um, you know, definitely very honored, and I have a great opportunity to. I'm the strongest and the fastest that I've ever been. I'm pushing a sled very, very well, and now I'm very confident in my setup with my sled that I have. Um, the old sled and knowing that it can still go fast. I just went under the track record in Lake Placid in training. It was just training, but it's still I'm I'm one of the fastest that's ever traveled down that track ever on this old Davenport sled. <laughs> <laughs>